the stage your next comic, Juan Ramos. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, there we go. What's going on, New Westminster? I was late today. I was uh, bleeding out of my dick. <laughs> yes, people get really surprised sometimes when they find out uh, that I'm Mexican and I'm so tall. I, I really am one tall guy, not three guys trying to cross the border. Some people think I look black. Other people think I act really white. I'm just Mexican. Two wrongs don't make a right. So yes, like uh, Janice said, my name is Juan, J-U-A-N. I always kind of just spell it out. I get in the habit, uh, especially when I talk to Chinese people. I go in and order um, some Chinese takeout, you know, from, uh, from my good buddy Chiwi. He'll be like, uh, what's your name? I'm like, Juan. He's like, oh, like wonton soup. Sure shit. He's like, W-O. I'm like, no, 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 Chiwi. It's Juan, J-U-A-N. He's like, why you say your name like Juan? But spell it out, J-U-A-N. I'm like, same reason why you pronounce your name Chiwi. But you spell it out. Ding, 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 ding. ding. I love beach volleyball. Was playing uh, all summer long, all summer long. Yeah, some volleyball fans in the crowd love it. I was putting on some sunscreen one day. This guy comes up to me and he's like, why do you need to buy sunscreen if you're Mexican? Honestly, I just can't believe how ignorant some people can be. I mean, with all the studies and all the research that has been done, and to assume that a Mexican guy wouldn't just steal the sunscreen instead? I mean, that is disrespectful. So I'm dating this new girl. Yeah, right? Right. We're in that really cute stage where we're holding hands, we're calling each other babe. It's really, we're so adorable. <laughs> Haven't gone to the L word just yet. Uh, it's coming, it's coming. I think I know how I'm gonna do it. Uh, I think I'm gonna cook her a nice dinner, maybe open up a nice bottle of wine. I'm gonna be like, babe, I love lesbian porn. <laughs> I hope she says it back. By the way, my, uh, my parents are Mexican, too. Yeah. I know, right? I, uh, I think back to when uh, they were trying to buy their first Canadian home. They wanted to buy it somewhere really beautiful, somewhere really quiet, somewhere really clean. We ended up in Poco. Yeah, my parents are really young, too. Uh, my mom just actually turned 50 this week. She looks great, both really young. If I can look half as good as she does when I'm 50, I'll look 25. <laughs> Dick piercings. What is going on with all the penis perforations going around these days? Especially with these guys that have multiple dick piercings going now. Like, and what if you, one day you wanna take them out? Are those holes gonna stay there forever? I'm just thinking uh, backyard sprinkler here. <laughs> Let's call buddy uh, sprinkler dick. Let's go with that. I just picture it though, like what if one day sprinkler dick is getting hot and heavy with his new lady? She's going down to take a look at the merchandise for the first time that night. She runs into a bunch of holes. Like ladies, what are you gonna do in that situation? Let me help you. Tell you what I would do. Yeah. 
I channel her back to grade four, get my finger placement right. (laughs) Yeah, I'm ready. And just play the best version of Mary's Got a Little Lamb on that meat whistle. Am I right? Yes. So November is coming up. Right. My question is, if it's for uh, prostate and testicular cancer research, shouldn't the men be growing their hair somewhere else? <laughs> so November is coming up. A month dedicated to encouraging the growth of facial hair and giving away money. Something tells me Chiwi and his friends are not going to be taking part anytime soon. (laughs) Chinese crowd in the house. Okay, okay. Okay. (coughs) So Movember is coming up. Or like they call it in Mexico, year round. (laughs) That's the one, thank you guys. Give it up for, give it up for Juan Ramos.